What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be going over how you can be a good person and get rewarded with Master Balls in Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is going to be combining a few things that I've talked about in the past and even previous games. The first thing I want to talk about is you probably have a lot of Pokemon in your boxes. If you're playing the game now, and if you're doing any sort of breeding, whether it be for competitive breeding or trying to hunt shiny Pokemon, there's a very good chance that your Pokemon boxes look something like this, where you just have boxes after boxes after boxes of Pokemon that you don't want. Five boxes of Grookies, seven and a half boxes of Score Bunnies. And of all of that, I got myself this this one shiny Grookie. He's, he's the product of, of all of that. He actually only took 29 minutes. Uh, the Score Bunny's taking much, much longer. But hey, that's that's what shiny hunting is, right? And if you're in a situation like this, you may have said, wow, I really wish that they had a feature that you could mass release Pokemon. And you know what? I wish they did too. It was in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, although at that point you were, you know, sending them to the, to the candy factory where they become candy, humanitarianly safe candy. And in this game, you don't. It takes on average uh, five to six minutes to release an entire box of Pokemon. If you're in a situation that you're breeding for a competitive Pokemon, you probably have a perfect ditto. It takes about 5 to 30 eggs to find the perfect combination of stats and everything else that you want for that Pokemon. Usually not much more than that. To do that for 6 Pokemon, you could have almost a full row of boxes filled up. And there's a good chance that you're breeding Pokemon that you can't find on early routes like Dreepy, Galarian Darumaka, Mimikyu, Ice-Q, Marini, etc. And if you're shiny hunting, well, then you probably look like this, that you have a six IV foreign ditto, you're doing the Masuda method, and you gave him a destiny knot, so now all your Pokemon in here are pretty good stats. By the way, pro tip for that, you start off with just whatever Pokemon that you have, and then you breed down and breed down, and there's always the one out of 31 chance that it has four perfect IVs. And then you take the four perfect IV, you throw him in the breeder, and then you have the chance that it's five perfect IVs. And then you take him, you put him in the breeder, and then there's the chance that it's a six IV perfect offspring. And you take that six IV perfect offspring, and then you throw him in the daycare, and boom, all of your Pokemon are five IVs. With the chance to be six, one out of 31 chance. Boop, right there, there's another one. Six IV perfect score bunny. And the Pokemon that you're shiny hunting for are ones that probably have a really cool shiny, or Pokemon that you just like. Like Hatena, Eevee, Dreepy, Mimikyu, Sinistee, Hone Edge, and most importantly, the starters here. All of these Pokemon here are completely useless to you. All these guys, right here. Absolutely nothing for you. Uh, let's look at the Grookies. All these guys completely useless because I have the one shiny Grookie that I wanted. But you know who they're not useless to? New players. Like three years ago with Pokemon Sun and Moon, I just randomly did the, the surprise trade of that generation and gave them all away. But now, we're gonna do that again. Because you, like me, probably have a whole bunch of Pokemon that you don't want. That are great Pokemon. Like all these starters and all these starters. If you started off with the Sobble Squad, by the way, starter select merch now available, austinjohnplays.com slash merch. We're adults. We have the game a month plus ahead of time, and for Christmas, younger people are going to be waking up Christmas morning or getting it Christmas Eve if their parents divorced and they have two Christmases, and they're getting presents from their parents and or Santa, and they get a Nintendo Switch or Switch Lite and Pokemon Sword or Shield, and then they're, they're going to want to try all the new features, including Mystery Gift, uh, Surprise Trade. And guess what? Surprise trade kind of blows. It really does. Just randomly surprise trading stuff, you're either going to get garbage early root Pokemon or you're going to get hacked Pokemon. So, I propose that if you're like me, and if you're shiny hunting a Pokemon, or if you're competitively breeding a Pokemon, that Christmas Eve, let's say 7, maybe 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we start surprise trading all these way. And Christmas Day, I don't know, 7 to 8 a.m., we start surprise trading all these away. Kids are going to wake up, they're going to get surprise trade, start our Pokemon. That's fantastic. That's exactly what they want. Being able to start your game off with level one of all three of the starters, that's a magical experience right there. And you know what? We, as a community, can make that a magical experience. Now, hang on. Now, what if I told you, being this great person and helping out new players to the game is going to reward you? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're talking big dog moves here. Now, every PC in the game has the Roto Lotto. 
uh, right here, the Loto ID. If you're not familiar, here's an 11 second explanation. Every day it randomly generates a five digit code and then compares itself to every Pokemon of your box's original trainer's IDs, last five of six digits. If you matched one through five numbers, you win stuff. Great. If you match one number, you get a Moo Moo Milk, two numbers is a PP up, giggity. Three numbers is a PP max, big giggity. Four numbers is a rare candy, and five numbers is a Master Ball. Now this is the first game ever in Pokemon history that I've wanted Master Balls. I'm not even joking, like, Master Balls have always been seen as like an easy cop-out of catching a Pokemon, so you don't want to do that, you want the challenge. However, now that we have Gigantamax raids, and you only have one Pokeball to throw, you only have one shot. One opportunity. Now Master Balls are somewhat sought after, especially if you're going after shiny Gigantamax Pokemon, like this shiny Gigantamax Duraludin, and this shiny Gigantamax Snorlax. As a guest of a Gigantamax Pokemon raid, you have about a 9% chance to catch it with a Repeat Ball or a Net Ball, if it's Water or Bug type or Repeat Ball, if you already caught it before. If neither of those fit the situation, then you have 8% chance to catch it with a Dusk Ball. The only problem is that you only have one shot to catch it, and that's why Master Balls are now being sought after for the first time ever. While the two and three matching numbers of the Lotto give you some rare items, Experience Candy uh, kind of makes Rare Candy op obsolete in this game, and you don't even really need to get it, so we want to match the two. We we'll want to match the three, but we definitely want to match the five for the Master Balls, you feel me? If you were to play this game every single day, never trade a Pokemon. Every Pokemon that you have, you are the original trainer of. In order to get all five numbers matching, it would take 83 years. 83 years, that's because you have a 1 out of 30,240 chance and you can only do it once a day. It's kind of like winning the real lottery. But the more Pokemon that you have from various trainer IDs, the more likely you are to win the lottery. It escalates very, very quickly. So look at this box right here. If I were to trade 10 Pokemon out of it, I would have a 1 out of 3,024 chance multiplying my chances of winning by 10, which is already higher than a full shiny odds. If I were to take all 30 Pokemon, one full box, and surprise trade them all away, my chances now go to 1 out of 1,008. If I were to trade two boxes away, that brings my chances to 1 out of 504. Now my chance of winning the lottery is better than my chance of getting a shiny Pokemon Masuda method with Shiny Charm, which is 1 out of 512. If I were to do four full boxes of Pokemon, my chances would go to 1 out of 252. If I were to do eight, Full boxes, this bottom row, one full row of boxes. My chances of winning a Master Ball from the Roto Lotto are one out of 126. So we brought the, in theory, 83 years, the one out of 30,000-ish chance, down to four months. Outstanding move. Now here's the kicker. We can exploit the Roto Lotto so that instead of doing it every day, we can do it, it once every two minutes. <laughs> So if you come to the Roto Lotto, try a Loto ID. I already did it today. That's fine. You may know where I'm going with this. And I'm gonna summarize it very, very quickly. Oh, I'm hatching an egg. Imagine we got shiny score bunny right now. Nope. By the way, if you are trying to hatch shiny Pokemon, make sure you have a flame body Pokemon as your one Pokemon in your inventory and your other five slots should always be eggs. Cause whenever an egg hatches, the old mechanics used to say, and this probably stays true, is that when a new egg hatches, it makes the other eggs around it hatch faster. And a flame body Pokemon doubles how fast that they will hatch because of egg phases and egg steps. So come to the wild area, find any beacon, throw down a wishing piece, or you don't even need to throw down a wishing piece. Make sure you're offline. So when you're on this page, you see connect to the internet. Do not connect to the internet. Go right here, invite others, communicating, please stand by. Home button, system settings, yep, we're doing the date spoofing trick. System, date and time, change it one day forward, okay, go back, and we're gonna quit. And now, according to the game, it's a different day. I think what it does on the internal side, because I've been trying to figure this out, is it no longer goes by the system's data, it goes by the online data of the time, and it sees that once you were done with your online interaction, and when I say online, I mean local internet, not, you know, being on the internet. You can tell because your Wi-Fi icon has a little L next to it, so you're on local Wi-Fi that affects Roku boxes. But then leaving from the local Wi-Fi and going back to the system time, oh, 
We're hatching another one in front of the door. It sees that, oh wow, he was online a while, and when he comes back, it's actually another day. That's the reason that the date spam trick works. And I don't think that's going to be able to be patched. I really don't. <laughs> Here we go. Hatching another one. We took like two steps inside of the Pokemon Center. Come over here, try Lodo ID. Boom! Connecting to the servers. Want to try my luck? Sure do. It's going to save my game. Congratulations! The number matches up with the ID of a Salandit in my boxes. I won a fourth tier prize, a nice bottle of Moo Moo Milk. So that means that that number that it drew matched one number of one of my Pokemon, which is a one out of 10 chance. So it's not very difficult to get the first tier prize. You literally have a one out of 10 shot with never trading with anyone. So yeah, I mean, you could kind of piece this together now. Between now and Christmas, start doing all of your shiny breeding, all of your competitive breeding, save all the Pokemon, don't release them. Which, by the way, if you're running out of boxes and running out of room like I am, in theory, you can just have one empty box and then breed out a full 30 Pokemon. If you don't get a shiny, reset the game and then rebreed the same 30 Pokemon and you'll get 30 different results. And on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, surprise trade them all away. It's going to increase your chances of getting free Master Balls with the Roto Lotto ID. It's going to help you fill up your Pokedex if you haven't done that already. It's going to help you fill up your living decks if you haven't done that already. And overall, it's just going to make everyone's time playing this game, especially on Christmas, a better experience. And you're going to get rewarded for it. How fantastic is that? All right, guys, I'm wrapping up this video. If you found this amazing, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.